C88. Hello everyone and welcome back to Speak Some More, my name is Soros88 and today, uh, as you can see, I have returned to my usual uh, attire, well, not the usual one, if you are like very perceptive, uh, you will realize that both my shirt and my uh, boots have changed and uh, yeah, I just wanted to rock a little bit of a different underneath outfit, <laughs> underneath my, my vest of course. Um, so yeah, uh, last episode we went exploring all of the caves below me and in between episodes I actually did some uh, some extra exploration just for some uh, extra materials but um, interestingly enough uh, the caves below were also very small <laughs> Uh, instead of what I actually expected, I was preparing actually for a two or three hour maybe grind and I was just like an hour down there and I ended up collecting all of the, uh, well, well, what I regard as important materials. Uh, so yeah, um, the other thing that I did was uh, build something here and back at our base. Uh, so let me first uh, show you uh, what, what, what my plans here are. So if you remember last episode I told you, well not told you, you saw, <laughs> that uh, we found uh, two spawners, two spider spawners here. And since this is like a, a large horizontal, well not, not horizontal, vertical, sorry. Uh, my English is not quite uh, sharp today. <laughs> so uh, yeah, which is a, a vertical space. Uh, and the two spawners are like one below the other. The other one is not on site, but it's just like down there. Um, I thought maybe it could be a nice idea to kind of like create a spider spawner, but maybe uh, do something th thematic here. Um, uh, I was thinking of two things. Maybe building like a giant spider and the spawner, it's like the... the bigger part of, of, of its body or maybe uh, just building like a structure and decorating it like uh, uh, some of the ruins that we've already kind of built in this world just to make it a little bit more cohesive with the with the theme that we've been working on uh, through our gameplay so I wanted to ask you guys what do you guys think uh, we should we should build um, I think both of those are kind of kind of nice. We could build if we build the the giant spider. We could build it as if it was a dead giant spider, like a car. Uh, yeah, like the exterior. You know, when when tarantulas uh, shade uh, change their 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 skin, they leave like a like a, some sort of um, skeleton, like exoskeleton, empty, hollow. Uh, we could do something like that or maybe we could just like create some ancient ruin uh, that already standed, uh, stood here before before we arrived right and it contains uh, the uh, the spawner so it would be a little bit uh, similar to the one that we already have on our base with the creepers uh, you know the one that with the green crystal and all that stuff uh, it would be something thematic like that, so yeah, I'm not I'm not quite sure which one to build. So I'll I'll <laughs> leave it to you guys to vote, maybe comment or maybe you know what I'll try and and uh, publish a poll these next few days on my YouTube channel and maybe you can vote already there. So yeah, uh, so the thing is. Um, I was thinking what to do with the interior of our little base here and I thought well if we supposedly on the lore of the of the <laughs> of the world that we're building we just stumble upon this place which uh, gathers spider materials I thought well the only real ingredient that we are going to use for spiders are the spider's eyes which we can uh, turn into some uh, ingredients for potions so I thought well we would need some um, theoretical place where we could process uh, the spider eyes and, and turn it into 
the useful uh, ingredient for our potions. So I decided to go with a little bit of a working station here. So yeah, this is this is the result. I, w I will go a little bit slower for you to take in. I mean, I think it's basic, but it's nice looking. So we have our bed here, a little bit of a sofa where we can chill and relax. Some uh, storage system here. Uh, we already have like the space for our shulkers and stuff. These ones are going to be gone once I <laughs> leave this place. And here on the table, it's like a working bench or working table where we have the ingredients and all the processing stuff that we are using. I have also uh, an infinite water uh, source here. Uh, I still have to bring uh, one of the potion um, working stations, the brewing stand. Um, for for us to be complete here and to actually use the spider eyes uh, and yeah i also found out <laughs> i didn't know i brought bricks with me and once i clicked on the on the on the crafting table uh, the recipe for the decorated pot uh, was shown to me and i remember that we actually have this new block on the on the new update but I thought you would only ha be able to craft this with with the shattered uh, pieces of, of, of the pot. The ones that you find while doing actual archaeology, you know, with the brush and the new like cracked blocks of dirt and, and sand and gravel and stuff that you kind of brush away. And once you brush it, uh, you find the, these shards. But also you are able to find like other types of treasures like the the uh, smithing uh, patterns and all that stuff, uh, emeralds and also a bunch of, of junk. It's a little bit like uh, <laughs> like um, fishing. So yeah, uh, I, I I didn't know this this block was craftable actually. <laughs> so it was a nice surprise. The only issue that I found is it's not stuck stackable stackable i'm not sure how it's pronounced but yeah as you can see i only have one on my on my hand and the other two uh, occupy each one inventory slot so yeah that's not so practical because i've seen some building tips with this and i thought yeah they look cool but now that i know that in survival you only can carry one i don't see them uh, as, as a viable option but yeah, maybe we can get creative and use them, uh, use them in some sort of way. Also, some of the mob heads that I talked about uh, last episode. And yeah, basically, this is it. A, a little bit of an armor in case we die. Oh, that's not a visitor I wanted. Sir, you're trespassing. <laughs> Sorry about that, but yeah, <laughs> that was a surprise. Uh, I don't know where... Did it spawn? I thought I was. I thought I was a little bit safer here. Maybe this caves. Yeah. Maybe I should go and light these ones up sometime later. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is one of the things that I've been working in between episodes, as I told you. Oh, also, of course, the material gathering, which it's not so much. I mostly found redstone, some iron, some gold. Maybe I will bring these ones back home. Uh, just so we can like uh, process them there now that we have like the lava infi infinite lava generator <laughs> so yeah maybe I'll bring those with me so just to show you guys how easy it is now to transport <laughs> between realms it's just like this is our newest base of operations <laughs> we enter the portal we spent a few rockets here in the nether like we just go up and across this place. This is the third rocket and uh, Gast is trying to kill me. And here we are. Nice and easy. So yeah, it's very practical now to have like uh, the proper portals on the nether. I still want to work on the nether hub, of course, just to make it a little bit safer. But yeah, here I've been working as well in, in another project. Uh, of course, we already have like uh, a lot of buildings here, like in the in the farm and uh, with you know the crane and 
storage room and all that stuff but I've also been wanting to uh, create a place for our bees <laughs> because we have uh, like a lot of bees and I want to start creating materials uh, for wax and stuff because I want to start using a little bit more copper and I want to be able to like stop the aging process uh, that, that, that it has uh, so for that we need we need wax and for wax we need bees and all that stuff uh, so before I show you that uh, I also wanted to share with you two other things that we have uh, improved <laughs> for, uh, if, if we can call it like that so the first one is we have another neighbor here and he's currently living on uh, the lighthouse I decided I needed uh, some Unbreaking 3 books, so I went on and started uh, messing with some villagers. So let me introduce you to mm, Brooks Hatlin, which is another name for uh, a librarian, a famous librarian. Uh, in this case, this guy uh, sells Unbreaking 3 and Respiration 1, which we're not going to be using very much, but yeah. It was quite a journey to bring him here, bring him here safely <laughs> and, uh, you know, to zombify him and then cure him and all that stuff for us to get the, the best traits. So yeah, now we have an, an Unbreaking 3 villager and on our house, our house guest of course is uh, Miss Olivia Caliban, which sells us the mending books. So the other thing that I've been working on of course is the bee house that I told you which is this place and it still hasn't been decorated inside or outside but yeah we already have the mainframe uh, this build has been sitting on my creative world like for months I built this completely on my creative world and I've been wanting to uh, translate the building here to our, to our survival world but I didn't have the chance and other projects were uh, a little bit more of a priority here. So yeah, the idea here is to actually have all sorts of plants uh, growing here. For example, I was thinking maybe here we can have some of the um, overworld uh, vines and then over here we can have some of the nether vines as well. And over here some flowers, uh, maybe some hanging I don't know how hard they're called, but uh, some hanging place for the flowers to grow. And uh, here, integrated with the build, we can uh, put the the beehives for the bees to pollinize here and create some of the of the honeycombs that we need for wax and stuff. So I think that's what we are going to do right now. So I'll leave you with a little bit of a montage of how we work on the inside of this place. And I'll see you once it's finished, so I'll see you in a moment.
All right, so we are done. Uh, it took actually quite longer than I expected, as usual. <laughs> but I'm pretty pleased with the results, as usual. Uh, so this is uh, how it ended up looking in the inside. So as I told you, I wanted uh, to have like one side for uh, the overworld uh, vines, and here we have three of the of the beehives, and on the other side we have the nether section with some of the vines as well another three beehives and here we have the nether wart which I think this is the only one that I'm going to need from now on because it produces actually quite uh, quite a lot and we already have quite a lot for our potion so yeah uh, in the middle I decided to place these two like flower islands where it is easier for the bees to access them and to pollinize with them but also I placed these kind of like floating, well not floating because it is uh, sustained by chains but yeah this this kind of uh, a floating island here up there with more flowers for the bees to gather pollen from and of course we placed uh, the new flower which creates this kind of green particle ambience uh, that is floating around uh, here and there uh, of course some um, storage here on, on, on the on the greenhouse and uh, the space here is actually for berries but uh, I haven't found any remember the spruce trees that we uh, planted and gathered uh, were from uh, a trader villager so yeah we we still need to find that specific biome and for us to have like uh, the, the, the berries uh, that spawn there and hopefully we can make another friend with a fox or something like that <laughs> uh, that would be really appreciated and on the outside I decided to place some leaves acting as giant vines because that's also kind of the theme that we have been going on with uh, our, our other buildings so for example here we also have like those giant vines like surrounding the, the huge building so I decided to to go with that as well in here. And I think it looks quite nice. At least I think it uh, blends it in with the nearby uh, environment. And yeah, um, <laughs> basically that's that's what uh, that's what I had in mind and what I already built like in my forge world, my creative world. And yeah, one more building to the world. <laughs> So yeah, I think that's uh, going to be 
be it for today's episode guys so i really 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 hope you enjoyed and if you did please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing and i'll see you in the next episode see ya Thank <laughs> you.